Hi. Um, I got a haircut. I look like a lesbian. But, um, I wanted to make a video because I haven't made one in a while. And my haircuts look really bad on the first day I have them, but then my hair gets longer and I become shaggy mop man again. Also, the light in the lounge room is really bad, so I'm gonna have shiny face. But, um, video, yes, um, as you know, I like music, so I'm making another music video again. Not a music video, because I can't sing or play instruments, but a video about music. So, um, people who are friends with me, which I assume is most people, because I'm lovable, but, um, most people know that I'm a fan of the Smith Street Band, and of the front man, Will Wagner. He is a good man. I like that man. Not that way I like him because he sings good but um yeah I like the Smith Street Band and Will Wagner and he um made a he's made three acoustic albums along with his three studio albums that go along with the Smith Street Band but um his third one I think it's the third one I'm not sure it's called Laika and Laika is very good I would listen to Laika a lot I like it. Oh god, puns. Um, yes, I listened to that a lot, and I thought I would tell you guys to listen to it because you are the people who watch my videos, and you would like this album, I assume, if you like Dylan's videos. But it's very stripped back, and um, it's just him with his guitar on most of the songs, um, on all of the songs, really. And there's not really much like variation. I'm gonna use my hands to talk. There's not really much variation between each of the songs in terms of, like, the guitar playing. There are, like, some different strumming patterns, I guess you would say. But really, it's just stripped back Will with his guitar. And there are also some songs where there's there's a harmonica in one of them. can't remember which one. That bugs me. Whenever I sit down to do a video, I always forget the fine details. Mm. The fine details of... Um, what I wanted to talk about, but songs, songs you should listen to from that album. More Like Signals Midwest is one of them. Oh dear, shaky camera. More Like Signals Midwest is th the best song on that album. Um, it just feels like a genuine Australian camp song, like you just sit around a campfire, pass a guitar around, and just jam out this song to everyone that's sitting around. Because... It's feel good. It's a feel good song, and you would play it in situations like that where you're wanting to feel good. But yeah, it describes him um, just going. It, it feels like a vlog through a like a song. That's what it feels like, and it's good. It's got good guitar. That one's a stripped back one, and it's got a bit at the end where it's just like people talking. And it's cool because it describes it. Like I said, you would play it at a party or around a campfire, and it's like people chattering about the song. And it's cool. It's a cool element to that song. And then there's the title track, Laika, and that one is very heartbreaking. Um, it's about the space dog, the dog who went to space before humans did. Who was? I didn't know this. It was she. She. He was called Little Curly before they, the government renamed her Laika, or him Laika. Gonna call it a her. It a her. Triggered. Um, yeah, and it's the, a stripped back song, like I was saying. It's him, it's Will with his guitar, and he just sings this heartbreaking tale of the dog who got sent to space. He sings it from the dog's perspective, and it hurts, because you realise that the dog didn't, has no idea what's going on, and it just goes along with it. And there's lyrics about how the government, the people, the scientists, fed it the last meal, its last meal, and it was the same as its first. And it's kind of like, oh, why didn't it get something special before it went to space? Because humans don't care about dogs' feelings, do they? Um, so yeah, that one's good. So listen to Laika. Um... Then there's Malt Memories, which I think is about a relationship, because he talks about watching something 
bloat and stagnate. Watching something great, bloat and stagnate is the actual lyric. Can't believe I got that wrong. Um, but yeah, he talks about that and how... I say he talks about it. It it feels like he's just talking to you the entire thing. He's got a very raw way of singing. I mean, if you asked me, like, who's your favourite male singer, I definitely wouldn't say Will Wagner because he's he's not... It feels rude saying this, but he's not a good singer. It's just his voice fits what he sings. Same with Luke Bowerdam from Violent Soho. He's got a kind of bad voice, but it just fits the music he's singing with. But yeah, I digress. Um, it, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Malt Memories, the song. That one's about a relationship, and it's very good the way he kind of admits that it wasn't going the way he planned, but he he needed to cut it off before it hurt him too much, which is kind of relatable. And then there's I'm Not Gonna Lie to You, which is a good song. I don't really have much to say on that. It's just very good. And then there's a song about why I suck, which is a very um, honest song. I'm kind of, like, I guess proud of him for singing something so honest about himself. Because he talks about how he used to steal from his friends and the song would be the way he told them. Like, he couldn't admit to them face-to-face -face that he was stealing from them. He, he kind of had to sing it through a song. And that was very good of him. But yeah, definitely listen to Will Wagner's album Leica. You'll find it on YouTube. You'll find it on all the good music streaming sites. But yeah, Dylan made a video. Mm. That was odd.